This time we're trying the Cape McLaren Trout Fly. Catch a new thread. I'm using a size 10 single hook, short chunk hook. Wind up to the bend. Take a golden pheasant crest feather, lay it on top of the hook and tie it in a little longer than you want the tail to be. Pull the feather back, lining it up as you go. Trim off the excess. I like a slightly long tail in the Kate McLaren. Catch an oval silver tinsel. Medium or fine tinsel. Take some black tubbing. I'm using Angel here. Light bright tubbing. Has a bit of sparkle in it. Twist the dubbing onto your thread. And form a nice Hairy body. Next, we've got a black cock cutter. Catch it in, trim off the excess. Draw the fibers forward a little, wind in the opposite direction to the ribbing. Three to four turns. Broken the tip off the hackle. Well, there's still enough feather to carry on. Cut in the hackle pliers again. Three, four turns. Evenly spaced turns. Drop the hackle in with the oval tinsel. Unwind your ribbing carefully through the fibers. This will hold the hot in place. Catch in the tinsel. Trim it off slightly long. Pull off the tinsel, exposing the core, and trap the core with the thread. Catch in a red game hackle, or ginger cock hackle. Wind forward. Trim off the stock. Trim it 
two of the fibers forward and make two to three turns up the head of the fly. Cross over the thread, drop in the tip of the hackle, move the hackle pliers, draw all the fibers forward, including the tip, wind on four to five turns of thread, then remove the tip of the hackle. Whip finish with four to five loops. Cut your loop with the point of your scissors and slide the scissors from the loop. Pulling your thread tight at the same time. Cut off the thread. and varnish carefully making sure not to put varnish on the hackle fibers. I use Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. Take a dubbing needle and make sure there's no varnish in the eye of the hook. There you go.